Hi guys, welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to create a mold in Fusion 360. Um, so what we've done is we've taken this 3D piece and created the mold around it. Um, if you see, if I turn that off, you can see we've got the negative impression there. So we could pour a molten metal in or plastic or whatever our medium is and we would end up with that piece. So let's get started and see what steps we take to get this done. Hope you enjoy the video. So today we're gonna to be working with this 3D model of a chess piece that I downloaded. I'll put a link for it in the description, it takes you to a Google Drive folder where you can download this and open it in Fusion 360. So it is centered on the origin. Uh, we're going to create a rectangle around it and extrude it. So it'll be like a box around it. So to start, create sketch. I'll create a sketch on the front plane. And I'm just going to do a rectangle. This doesn't have to be exact. This just has to be big enough to encompass the whole chess piece. So there we go, that looks good. Roughly centered that'll work for our purposes. Then I'm going to say extrude. We've got that profile selected. I want it symmetric. So I'll pull it out. You can see we need to be going past there and then a little bit more. So I want to make it so it's roughly as wide on either side. So I'm changing this cut operation to new body. And okay, so now we can see we've got two bodies. We've got the chest piece that's underneath there and then the block that's covering it. So I'm gonna be working from this front view here. What we wanna do now is empty out the section that's gonna be the chest piece mold. So I'm gonna say, uh, do a combine operation I'm going to select the target body as our block and the tool body as the chest piece. And we're going to perform a cut operation. I've left here selected um, keep tools so that won't delete that body. Now if I click OK, let me turn this off. Now inside of this we have our chest piece. Um, so if we go into a section analysis here, I can pull this back and we can see emerging from there is our chest piece. So we've got the solid block with the cavity of the chest piece inside. But that's not quite a mold. What we need is two halves. So now we can do split body. We'll select this and the splitting tool will breathe the front plane. Let me just turn that off quick. So now we've gone from two bodies to three bodies. If I turn this one off, there you can see inside there is <coughs> the one part of the chest piece. So between these two bodies, we've got a mold. But now uh, we want to make a few changes to this. So I'm gonna, I've turned off the one body. I'm going to create a sketch on this face. And for a mold to sit nicely together, you kind of want some little rods sticking from the one into the other. I'm going to make this three millimeters. And I will do the same thing on the other four corners. Three millimeters. I will locate them now once I've done all three. We could have used the pattern tool but I just decided to do it this way. So four millimeters is good. Four millimeters. So we'll do the same with these. Pattern tool would have been a lot easier because then they all would have been the same distance but this works too. Now 
and you can see they are constrained. So there we go. And what we'll do, I will now extrude them How far should we do it? Probably a couple of millimeters. Let's go four millimeters. And it's a join operation. I'll just put a fillet on them, on the edges, just so that they will fit in smoothly. Let's see that we can do a one millimeter there. That looks good. Okay, but now we've got a small problem. Um, on this body we don't have that so now we can do a join command select the tool body so we've selected the target body as the one we want to cut tool body will select as this part and we'll keep tool and it's a cut operation so if I click OK I turn off this body we can see we've got those holes on that side so we've got the one body with the, the rods coming out and then the holes. So that's more or less our mold, but you'll see we don't have anywhere to sort of pour the, the molten metal in. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the sketch and we're gonna create sort of a funnel here. So I'll do that using just the line tool. I want this to be just inside there. So then this little portion you'll shape by hand. Because obviously everything down this part will be solid. So now we've got this closed profile here. Let's turn that sketch on. What I can do now is turn both these bodies on and I can use the revolve tool. And let me just turn this off quick. Use the revolve tool and we'll do a cut operation. The revolve axis will be that one. Cut operation and it will be making a nice little hole in the top. So if I now turn this body off, you can see we've got a bit of a funnel shape there and it'll be exactly the same on the other side. And that's pretty much our mold. If we had to turn on the first body, that's what we would come out with, except this top little funnel section would also be solid. So we'd cut that off and then just uh, grind it down and smooth out the edges. But I feel like we need to add a bit more to this, so I'm going to change the appearance instead of this bland um, gray. We can also a polish steel and give it a stainless steel that doesn't done much. Let's see something else. Uh, Something shiny. Oh, anodized blue. So this wouldn't be practical for a mold, but just adds a bit of color to our uh, project. So there we go. There is your mold. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing. Maybe share the video. Uh, if you need any help with any of your work, you can contact me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. The email address is in the description. Thanks for watching. Until next time, cheers.